you know, I'm happy right now because because uh, Jackson and Harrison are on are on a very special adventure. Yeah, as we speak, actually, <clears throat> right now. <laughs> What's that adventure, Ryan? Uh, well, Jackson lost an odds are, which I guess he his brother just kind of was included in that. Harrison was just like, I'm, you know, I'm just gonna do this too. So uh, it was odds are of odds are you go on a Hollywood tour of my choosing. And so we uh, we played the game and he lost and I chose to put them on a TMZ Hollywood Hollywood tour. tour. That's that's so miserable. In case you guys don't know what Hollywood tour is, in Hollywood there's these companies that drive these buses around that have the top cut off. And all and the tourists. They, they, just, they just drive around to celebrity mansions, and it's like the most touristy shit. Here's here's a picture of them, both of them enjoying uh, their, their VIP time. TMZ tour. Yeah, they, and, they got the VIP passes and everything. <laughs> Harrison just texted me and said, "This is so long," and then Jack's like, "Jesus Christ, we still have a fucking hour." <laughs> <laughs> They saw Dustin Hoffman though. <laughs> yeah, they did. Here's the video. It's cold. Thank you. Have a nice day. I did that. What are the odds with Ryan that he had to, uh, I don't think I've talked about this, have I? I mean, no, I, 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 I don't. I think could you do have. it now. I could start doing it now. What are what are they? <laughs> what what is it? <laughs> she just throw that on top of everything. Yeah, yeah. I'll just okay. Uh, um, no, don't worry about it, Matt. Does it have to do with me? <laughs> you know nothing. Uh, and an Armenian always pays their debts. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you want to go for yours? You know nothing, little Armenian. It's AI. Everything you have to say has to be a quote from Game of Thrones. Does that sound like it's from Game of Thrones, Matt? <laughs> Is it not Game of Thrones? Was was Armenia in Game of Thrones? I'm just, I'm just yes. being respectful, and I'm I'm throwing out facts. Yeah. And Armenian always pays their debts. <laughs> what is, what is this? <laughs> I haven't seen Game of Thrones. It just has to be to me, isn't it? Because I've never seen Game of Thrones. Is it everything you say to me has to be a Game of Thrones reference that I won't get? Matt. <laughs> Matt. Yes, Ryan. Those who pass judgment must swing the sword. <laughs> should I should I build the other monument yes. now? <laughs> build build Ryan McGee from Super Mega. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pass it. Ooh, 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 oh, 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 shit. Oh. I'll be uh I'll be Richard for this one. Oh oh, 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 old tricky oh okay. Dick. You'll be my yeah. voice then. Does that mean I have to talk? Um, you have to keep up the voice for this entire segment. <laughs> and you can't stop talking until the level's over. Bang bang. Alright, give us some commentary as Richard. Shit, bro. <laughs> Ah, ah snap! Snap! Uh, sorry, was is it my character? No, I'm sorry. Or? Sorry, I, I I was I was helping. You know, you know when you don't talk when you don't talk for like five seconds, I can hear you trail in behind me, Matt. I'm sorry, Ryan. I just wanted some. This uh, is my this is my time to shine, and you're taking it away okay, from me. I won't say anything. I'm else. sick, and it it makes Ignore, it even more. You're difficult. wasting time right now by fighting. Wasting me on this. time. Yeah, you, I, I'm you talking be... to a friend about something that I'm pretty upset about. If that's wasting your time, then I'm sorry. The then not even level, an apology though. can fix this. Well, I'm sorry. No, as I said, did you not hear what I just no, said? No, I, I heard you said not even an apology can so fix were, it. So were you just trying to get under my skin? No, I think an apology, even if it's not going to fix it, it's still the right thing to do. It might be the right thing to do, but is there anything else you can do to help fix the situation? I could drive to a gas station to get me a big <laughs> bottle of water. Do you want me to do that? So, Matt, what are the, what are the odds <sighs> uh, you, you drive to the gas station to get your friend... Ryan, a bottle, bottle of, water. of non flavored, non whatever, spe no special, regular water. Uh, like, 15. 15. Yeah. 3, 2, 1, Six. 7. Oh, oh. Ooh. that was a close one there, fellas. That was a real close one. God, now I'm just going to have to stay sick. Ryan, don't put that on me, man. No, my friend Matt just didn't want to help help me out. No, I, I did want to help you out. That's why I set the odds so low. You just said the wrong number. Seems like that was rather high to me. Chapter clear, baby. Oh. What happened there? He threw up. Nah. Nah. He, he bled green. Oh, they're shooting stinky shit at me. Um, tartar sauce, thank you very much. It is stinky shit. It's actually so good, though. I do love tartar sauce. Like, when I get fish and chips, I gotta have ketchup and tartar sauce. You know what it is? Mayonnaise, relish, and uh, lemon juice as tartar sauce. Relish, 
mayonnaise. And lemon juice. Lem really? Yeah. Man, mayonnaise makes the best shit. It does, man. It's kind of like a, a vinaigrette for white people, you know? <laughs> they just kind of like use it mayonnaise as... Mayonnaise is good! It's so good, it's man. It's a good ingredient! It's it's so like use it in, in like potato salad, chicken salad, coleslaw. Devil eggs, yeah, coleslaw. dude. Mayonnaise mayonnaise is like food dip. lube. Yeah, dip like uh no dip. Hey, well, it depends on the dip. Chip dip is sour cream. No grizzly. You <laughs> <Ew>, god, <laughs> just like dipping dip in mayonnaise. <laughs> god, <ew. laughs> oh, what are the odds? So what are the odds you have to do that? And we have to film it and put it in the video. Right here. Oh, you gotta. We have, to, we have to go to. You have to put dip in mayonnaise and then and then pack a fat lip with it. <laughs> try to pack because I'll probably gag before I. Twenty. Three, two, one. Sixteen. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, okay. You don't have to. You don't have to pack a fat lip. Thank fucking god. Uh, okay. I got. I can come even, back there even when I. Even though it's poor etiquette to do this, only to make it more interesting. Odds are you do it. You did 20, I'll do 20. Okay. 3, 2, 1, 19. Four. I was hoping you You're hoping I would do 4, because I've been doing 4 lately. <laughs> I have been losing what are the odds left and right with my boy Ryan. It's fine. You still got a few to do. Carrot top. Uh, the one that the we decal. can't talk about yet. The decal, the decal on your car. So three. On my car. There's uh, still 3 yet that you have to do. And still one for Justin that he has to punish me for not doing. He or, certainly does. Or I, I may still do it. You already said on the podcast it. you weren't going to do it. Yeah. The, the, my name Jeff waveform tattoo. You can't do it. My name is Jeff. I mean, I think you should do it, but again, it's your body. Could... I'm not going to tell you what to do with your body, Ryan. Like, here's the thing. I shouldn't have agreed to it in the first place. I should have just said no, right? But and you that... did it. Not of 100 on his very first one ever. You both said the same number. How rare is that? That's pretty fucking rare. But I'm not a, a get a meme on my body for the rest of my life. Type of dude. You're not in anything for views kind of guy? Yeah. Who has the bro fist on his ass? That's funny stuff. Yeah, and he has but the- I'm, But I'm not- I'm not into that. Well, what tattoos I'm... would you get then? Would you get a super mega tattoo? No. You got a big super mega- would you get me on you? <laughs> no. Really? I have two tattoos, and like- Yeah, and one of them you're not- you can't show anyone because they get so offended by it. Yeah. Wait, which one? The one that- wait, the-, the, the, the Yeah. The, you know which one. Yeah. Okay. The one on your chest. I think that uh, it's kind of rude you wouldn't get your friend tattooed on you. What if someone had me at gunpoint and they're like, get a tattoo of Matt on you or else? Yeah, of course I'd do it to save your fucking life, but I wouldn't do it But you do wouldn't it do it my... just to be nice to your friend. <laughs> that is being nice. Saving your life is pretty fucking nice, I'm I talking think. about just out of common courtesy. And out of the hypothetical now? Out of common courtesy, I think... <laughs> I just fucking killed SpongeBob's ass, hold on. <laughs> This is a stone tea and cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up with thunder tiki's. Okay, so if I hit it, does it? What the can fuck? You circle to grab them? I thought I could hit it and then like walk away. Okay, yeah, I, I can't. Got it. Anyways, Blow up. we were talking about something. Something about how you'd be so rude and not get me. Like you don't like me enough. Oh, yeah. You don't like me at all. Clearly. That's not. <laughs> Dude, I don't like Matt. I don't have- He's a, not as important as- I don't as, have a tattoo of most people. He's not as- he's not as important to me as I am to him. You, would you get a tattoo of me? Absolutely, Ryan. We, without it- without it, a single- a tattoo Without a me? single ounce of hesitation. If I pay for it, will you get a tattoo of me then? Of course. Right? You will. Cause-, cause well, only because I know you would do the same thing. <laughs> I said I wouldn't do the same thing. Though. Well, that makes you an asshole, and I don't want an asshole <laughs> tattooed on me. I don't want that. I'm not gonna tattoo someone who who's betrayed me. <laughs> you know? Why would I ever do that? I don't know, buddy. Why would you? Y'all seen that new trailer for uh, Bad Boys for Life? What you gonna do? With, Wait. With, with Will Smith and and Martin Lawrence. If there's a new Bad Boys movie? Yeah, and everyone's ma everyone's clowning Martin Lawrence because he gained gained a bit of weight. Oh, there's still somebody down here. When you get older, your metabolism okay. slows down. People are real oh. mean. They're like, wow, he really looks like Big Mama now. It's like, Jesus Christ. Have you ever seen Big Mama? Of course, one and two. I have, I never have. I wasn't allowed to watch those movies. Because of the types of... Yeah, my, my dad wasn't. Yeah. He wouldn't let me. Okay. I, uh, I, I... I always wanted to, because I remember going to the video store as a, as a child and seeing the cover. Oh. And I was like... <laughs> What's the- Well, as a kid, I just thought that, like, Big Mama's house was, like, the- the black version of, uh, what's it called? Miss Doubtfire? 
<laughs> yeah. Dude, I mean, it, it's crazy in South Carolina just like how much casual racism there is. <laughs> I mean, everywhere. It sounds like something that should be fun, but it's, but isn't. Oh, yo, it's crazy how much casual racism. You know, I, I, I casually do a lot of things, but racism definitely. Racism is one I I'm more, of a, I'm, I'm more of a casual racist, you know? I'm not like a, like a hardcore one. I'm just kind of casual. <laughs> I wouldn't describe myself as a racist, but from time to time, you know, it's, I'm, I'm casual with the racism. <laughs> Look at you, man. What, what, what did what did you get? What do you think? An A? An A plus? A something. A oh, plus, A plus, baby. Playstyle executioner. My man. You know, I'm gonna. We're gonna have to go watch Big Mama's house tonight. Are we? Yeah. No. Oh. I'm just kidding. I got a hot date with my hand. <laughs> it's a masturbation joke. I don't, by the way. Matt, odds are you have to masturbate to uh, a scene that I pick out for you from Big Mama's House 1 or 2. You have to masturbate to it, to completion. Well, how do I prove that the completion thing? Do I need to send you, like, a picture? Do you need to watch me masturbate? You, you have to send we'll me You have to, you have to send me a cum, cum tribute of Big Mama. Well, now you're, you're changing it up now. Okay. At first it was I need to masturbate to a scene. Now it's I need to masturbate to a scene <laughs> and finish how, it with a cum tribute How about you can do either one? <laughs> Yeah, um, either either or. You pick your poison. A contribute or to one of the scenes. Because here's the thing. I think it's going to be harder to get off while watching Big Mama, but I won't have that lasting physical... Because, like... No, I want you to masturbate to Big Mama. Yeah. Like, yeah. the movie or Big Mama specifically? So, so Martin Lawrence dressed <laughs> the, the up movie, as Big Mama. The movie. I'll, 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 like, choose a scene, and I'll make a video for you, or I'll get a bunch of compilations and shit, make a video for you. And you and you might have to replay it a few times, but you have to masturbate to completion while watching it. You can't watch anything else. You can't have anything else around. Well, let me throw this cheat. out there. I already have a very hard time masturbating because I take. Then, it, then I, this should I, this I should help you out. This, this should, should be help. Fun. You. Yeah. I don't really have a sex drive to begin with. And that's like hard mode for masturbation. It is. Um, <laughs> or not hard mode. Essentially, yes. So how about, well actually, I did lose one of the odds where I had to masturbate to this one video, Jackson, I found on YouTube, where it's just like, a bunch of, like, clips, like, <laughs> compressed clips of women twerking, and there's like, EDM music, and then just with Windows Movie Maker, they're putting titles that are like, wouldn't Ooh, you yeah. like to touch that ass? Don't come yet! And it, it was like a don't come challenge, but it was on YouTube, and I still, if you can find me that video, I, I still have to do that. Okay. You still have to take a hit out of a out of a dirty bong too. And uh don't you have to masturbate to Chris Chan? Don't you have to get a certain tattoo, Ryan? No. Why not? What do you mean? What Wh tattoo? The uh the my name is Jeff waveform. What was that from? See now he's pretending like he's never heard of it. Mm. It's documented, Ryan. It's documented. Where? On Super Mega. Show me the proof. Ryan, I'm the not proof gonna, is in the pudding. There's too many videos. Ooh, do we have pudding? Yeah. <laughs> oh, did somebody say pudding? Hey, Ryan, what are the odds have to go buy me some pudding right now? Haha. <laughs> well, well uh, uh, I'll I'll do that, but Matt. I need to do the Big Mama one first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll do it. You know what? Ten. I'll do that. At ten. Three, two, one, seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I'll make the video for you, and uh, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> Jackson, you have to. You have to keep them. Well, I'm not gonna be there. No, That's of course not. But like, we need to, find... to monitor. But it would be easy for him to just lie and text me and say, "Hey, I just masturbated to Big so Mama." So you, you want me to watch? Is that I, my I job want you to. I, well, he's gonna go into his room. Think of think of it as the job I pay you for, Jackson. <laughs> um, basically, I, I want you to be there at least while he's doing it, not in the no, room. No, what the fuck? Not in the room. Okay, do you expect me I to don't be able to get off if, if my friend is there? I mean, he's. I'm sure you've masturbated before when y'all have been in the same like living quarters. Never. No, not in the same like room. <laughs> Since it's not. I didn't say the same room. In the same. Uh, just what? to make sure that he can knock and be like, "Are you done? Oh, Are you yeah. done, Mister?" Hey, well, buddy. let's let's wait until Jackson's mom is not staying with us. Let's. I I, pref I preferably like to you know. Do you think I can trust you, Matt, without having yes. to have Jackson as a referee? No, absolutely. Ab like. I, if I, I will, make the video for you, I legitimately will. I still have to read to that this. Rolling Stones magazine. You do have to read that Rolling Stones magazine. <laughs> I have to read all of it. That's a big. That's like a ninety-page magazine on the Rolling Stones. God, what if I can't find oh. it? What if it's gone forever? Then, then you, uh, then you have to jerk me off to then, Big then Mama. You have to <laughs> <laughs> the big one that I can never do that you still bring up was like from five years ago, and it was a. Uh, I had to take a shit off of that bridge in Columbia that has a, uh, a road underneath it. Yeah, you do. 
No, I can't. That's that's like that's like a felony. Well, Matt, you lost the word of the odds. You know, if you don't have integrity, that's one thing. But that you know, can I? What can I trust you with them? That's true. It's good. Yeah, we thought of some good ones recently. We did. We're on two one two North Twenty Fourth Street, Northeast Twenty Fourth Street. Dressed to kill. See ya. Click. Dressed to kill, Jackson. Oh, I will. I'm. I'm gonna go in cosplay. <laughs> As the as Harley Quinn. I want to be one of those I'm guys like, who like wears. Well, I guess this game doesn't have an iconic jacket, but like wears the drive jacket out everywhere he goes. And he's like, yeah, it's not I like cosplay. movies. <laughs> oh, we should do an odds are with Harrison that he has to. <laughs> he has to wear on oh, his God. motorcycle. That would make him so mad. Okay. <laughs> Imagine we'll Harrison. It's like, like the first. No, no, he has to wear it during his drive, like his motorcycle driver's test. Oh my test. God! Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. Can I call him right now and do yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah do Dude, would he do it or would he be like, ha ha? I, I, I think he would do it. No, he'd do he do it. He commits pretty pretty Grand good Grand to what he does. We have to get the jacket for him probably, but we yeah. we, we can just land like an even cheap one that's like a knockoff of it. Okay. And then maybe also he can put up his Pulp Fiction poster up in his room. Oh yeah, well you mean the one that you bought and is on the ground in your room? Dude, they don't even start that rumor. Uh, that, I, that's not a rumor, Matt. Normally I do this bit where I act like it's a rumor. I don't have a Pulp Fiction poster. Hello? Isn't it Japanese? I don't. I don't. Do, no, oh, I don't wait. have a Pulp Fiction poster. It's it's just now ringing. Do you want me to turn the TV down? Uh, maybe. I don't know. He might not even answer. He'd better. <sighs> Hello? Hey, uh, sorry to call you and interrupt your day. Are you are you doing well so far today? <laughs> That's good. Uh, well, we were, we just came up with an odds are for you that I think would just be too perfect to pass up and let us forget. So would you mind if I asked you? Go ahead. Okay, odds are you have to wear the drive jacket when you complete your motorcycle driver's test. Oh, what? <laughs> That's up to you. That's, That's up to you. Buddy. That's up to you. Uh, 25, okay. 3, 2, 1, 23. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, you're well, free. Did you tell him what I have to do? Oh, oh. <laughs> Matt has a good hey, one. Hey, Harrison, I, I get the pleasure of being able to masturbate to a scene from Big Mama's house, <laughs> one or two. <laughs> We can get it for him as a gift. Anyway, <laughs> that is cycle. true. We Congratulations get... for getting your bike, buddy. No, I have an idea. I have a really good one of the odds. I don't know if he'd let us do it, but it's like next time he has like a first date over, he, he lets us get to decorate his room before and he doesn't get to see it or, and he can't tell her. <laughs> yes. So oh, so we could put up like some really cringy posters and shit. But we wouldn't go like way no, overboard no, no, no. with it. We make it look like a Honestly, legitimate room. No. We could just put like one thing. I think that's almost funnier if it's like one su subtle. We, but each put up, we each get we to put up. We each get to put up one, one item. item, like something like that would just be kind of embarrassing for a 26 year old man who's bringing a like uh, like a Steven Universe poster. Like, <laughs> yes, which is nothing wrong with Steven Universe. Why not a Wizards of Waverly Place poster? That would just because he can play that off as like, oh, it's ironic and it's funny. But that, uh, that's also not Doctor Harrison's Who. Doctor not if Who. we get it Ooh, signed. Do Doctor Who is good. Oh god. I mean we have the signed Bill Cosby framed picture. We I'm could just, just gonna put, put that, that up. There. That alone will make his day leave. So, so why do you have a signed picture of a rapist on your wall? <laughs> it's it's I'm an irony bro. <laughs> so it's ironic. You can get the right answer that I have in my head. And okay. So basically it's it's called what what song plays when a minority when a certain minority comes on screen. So let's act like someone from a uh, uh, a Latin background, you know, yeah, comes on screen. What would be the go-to music? Let's say a group of, I don't know, uh, people. Uh, let's say Mexican or Spanish, you know. It's it's. Now, are we, are we doing like a specific song or like just this genre of music? Well, Hollywood kind of groups them all together, anyways. So there's one song in particular Is that it low I'm rider? thinking of. No, no, no. Not Lowrider. No, when you when you think of like oh the I'll just put it this way like when Hollywood is like oh or a, 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 an Adam Sandler movie an, da, 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 yep there it is that one and then what happens when an Asian comes on screen? There's two things that could happen. I don't I, I not they don't really do the gong anymore. It could have been. I, I know what it is, but I'm you not know, gonna you, say it. You know what it is? Yeah. It's not the the little jingle, right? It is the jingle. Yeah. I mean, they just don't do that still. That was, no. also, that was written by a by a white dude too. That's not even from China. Oh, Buck Owens. <laughs> My transistor radio comes from far away. Buck Cherry away. wrote that. <laughs> I wish Buck Cherry wrote that. <laughs> oh. What Damn. happens when a white person comes on screen? <laughs> 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 
the devil went down to Georgia, he was looking for a soul to steal. Okay, what happens when a, uh... Oh, what happens when uh, a movie character, the scene changes oh. to when they're, like, deserted in the desert? Like that kind of, like, twangy. What am I thinking? Like, think, like, an, like an Arabian desert. It's usually oh. people that are like, yeah, exactly. Like, oh. Coca-Cola. <laughs> they hide like brand deals in there. Yeah. Coca-Cola. <laughs> Refresh. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, Trying to think of other like things that movies do where it's like uh, tell stories, uh, show character development, entertain the masses. And if you're the movie Big Mama's House, you bring me to orgasm. <laughs> well, not yet. You still have yet to c complete that. I mean, it's you know, only been... Defi before we finish this series, there will have been a break. Because we will You have... gotta do a... Ooh, Matt. Do I need to do it in Australia? What, what are the odds that you do it on the flight to Australia? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, oh, go. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not joining the Mile High Club with myself. Why not? And Marlon... No. Mar Marlon. Marlon uh, Brando. <laughs> you and Marlon Brando. Uh, Marlon Brando uh, did some naughty things on a movie set. So, really? Yeah. He had sex with uh, what's his face? Allegedly. Oh yeah, he yeah. What's his face? Will Smith. No, him and uh another actor, um, very famous actor singer had sex a lot. I think. Gene Kelly. Gene, who's Gene Kelly? Roseanne. You don't know who Gene Kelly is? Marlon Brando and Roseanne, always hitting the sack together. I'm singing, getting brain. I'm singing, getting brain. What a glorious feeling. That's a good song. That's classic. I'm coming again to Big Mama's house. <laughs> Whoa! Don't mind if I beat off over here real quick. I mean, you gotta save it for Big Mama's house. That's true. I don't want to waste my uh waste my juices. male vitality. I only have so much of it in my system. And then we uh, we're gonna auction off the paper that. Did that guy <laughs> just, see that guy's <laughs> run through the wall? Out the wall. See that glitch? Yeah. Odds are Matt chugs the rest of this. Right now? Yeah. Five. One, two, three, four. four. All right. Well. No. Uh, chug? Chug? Do you know what? Do My you know teeth are too sensitive. Sorry, you know I, what the I, word guess, chug I guess means? Japanese is so good you forgot some English. <laughs> <laughs> I can't leave my good old buddy Matt hanging. Oh, he's doing it, ladies and gentlemen. He's uh, he's chugging it. That's chugging. Let's go have a fun night. Dude, this this hat I'm wearing is like cutting out all sound. I, it's like noise canceling. Wow, dude. It's impressive. Hey, man. I Could, couldn't even hear my own voice. That's a dance hat, so I'm, I'm going to tell him that you like you came in it and then just after he puts it on, he'll be like, this is my hat. And I'll be like, Matt came in that. And he's going to be like, fuck, shit. I'll do, who'll keep it on? I'll be like, no, you're Take kidding. Take out like, like hair gel and style his hair all cool. <laughs> I should. I should squirt something in there. <laughs> and then, then just like, like, so he thinks like, it's a yeah, joke. Like, he's like, Matt uh -huh. came in it and he's like, ah, right. And I'm like, no, seriously. <laughs> Feel inside of it. I'm pretty sure there's still cum in there. And then, <laughs> just get some like white soap. Just no! Say, just, no! Just say like Matt lost uh, odds are. <laughs> yeah, say I lost like a, what are the odds? And I had to come in it. <laughs> I, what, what was that? Uh, I lost a What Are the Odds once where I had to like, what did I have to masturbate to? I didn't actually end up you going through with it. You didn't have to do it. What was it? You had to masturbate to, I think, Chris Chan. Oh, yeah, yeah. You had to masturbate to like one of the, the ga oh yeah, the, the gash. Unclick. The oh, unclick. I lost it at like 100. I didn't, I, I, was, I told him like, Ryan, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Odds are you try to jerk off to the unclick tonight. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4! Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> I got that on here. So, luckily that didn't have to happen, but we had a rule that we that we never followed, which is like if we never did it, you'd have to stick a sharpie up your butt. That, now that just sounds because that's what the two of us. That just sounds really homoerotic. I yeah. know, dude. If, dude, dude, if you don't, you gotta stick this up your butt. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna stick my finger up your asshole, <laughs> dude. You gotta kiss me on the lips. Dude, I'll, put a, I'll put a condom on, but like you have to, I have to stick my wiener in you. <laughs> Just between my ass cheeks. It's not. It's just part of the joke. Odds, odds are I actually do it though. Oh, uh, ten. Ten. Sure, you want to go higher? Ten. It's, it's, just, it's part of the game, dude. Let's do two, dude. <laughs> well, you, would, because if it, because then it gets done either way. We used to play. So if it was two, uh, if you said the same number, you know, you lost. But if the other person who's challenging you said you said different numbers, they had to do the thing. So if you gave me like a bad challenge, like like two, so now either you or I have to do it. 
but we don't play like that anymore because it was too unfair. That's not unfair. I think that's fair. <laughs> yeah, but like, uh, seen any movies lately? You fucking horn dog. Horn dog. Uh, pretty boy. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck you, dude. Dude, I don't know how uncomfortable this podcast. Is, but there was like real <laughs> sexual tension. <laughs> If you were like, I'm like rubbing my feet, fuck. Well, dude. I mean, you're doing that regardless. You were doing that before you brought it up. You were like playing footsie with yourself over there. I know. I was imagining it was you. It looks good. Thank you. You got nice little piggies. Mm. You could trim them up a bit. You could trim them, but at least you don't have fucked up feet like mine. You know, I got these bunions. I got these big ass bunions. Do you actually have bunions? Dude, do you not see the shape of my foot? Look at this. I'll take my sock off. Let me show you this. Do you see? Your foot doesn't do that. See this part right here? You don't a, have that. A and little at, bit. Yours is at, more out. It should be like this, but it's like that. You're going to have to get corrective sur- yes, surgery for Very that, Very expensive you? corrective surgery. Um, and uh, it's going to be very painful. The doctor legitimately told me, he said this. He said, Matt, you got to have this corrective bunion surgery at some point in your life. But while you're here, I can also give you ass injections. And he did do that, and it actually was fantastic. <laughs> I, I, I ended up not getting the uh, surgery for the feet, but I did get the ass injections. I want to see you one day, Matt, just pridefully strolling by with your perfect feet, that uh, perfect ass, and big new luscious lips. I might, dude, okay, <laughs> Wait, could you if imagine? If I had if big you... new luscious lips, <laughs> like big Botox, and ass injections, I might be able to dominate the gay porn market as like <laughs> the number one twink bottom in the world. And that's not me saying I'm a bottom. That I'm just saying that that would fit the type. But you'd have the lips of like those two Vegas entertainers. The fucking Russian uh, the the brothers, the yeah. twins. Yeah. Yeah, the ones that don't look human. The, but it starts with a B. Bogdanov, the Bogdanov. <laughs> yeah. Guys, if if you're having a good night, go look up the Bogdanov twins and uh see how your night's going after that. Don't look up a moving image of them cuz it will scare you. It's these two guys and it's crazy because they got all this facial reconstructive surgery, which I think at that point it's almost like a, it's definitely a form of dysmorphia. But like, they uh, they only did it because it made them laugh when they were high. Dude, what if you do? What are the odds? Dude, you, get? you look so fucking funny, dude. Dude, what if, what are the odds you get facial reconstructive surgery until you you look not human? <laughs> it's kind of creepy. They were Two. very very attractive dudes. Max Mofo had them as his profile picture for many months. Yes. Um, actually, speaking of what are the odds, Ryan? There was a what are the odds I asked you over text that you said let's do it in person. Ooh, so okay. what what better place to okay. What is it? What are the odds you have to take a bong rip? Oh fuck. But the that's it. So what are the odds you have to take a bong Ooh, rip? Okay. <laughs> Dude, that's pretty insane. Dude, right weed? What are the odds you take a bong rip, but the water in the bong has to be the juice drained from several tuna cans? <laughs> so it's like I thought of that when I was going to see the new Tarantino movie. I was um, sitting in the audience, and that just came to me. God damn it. Um, 50. 50? 3, 2, 2 1, 30. 33. Woo! What did you say? I said 40. Okay. I mean, I said 33. No, you didn't. No, I said 40. <laughs> what are the odds we both do it? No. Like, I'll I'm, come I'm over. Not, I'm not doing a second round of that. What are okay. The, okay, what are the odds? Now I get to do another bong rip one. Okay, what, what, are, the, what are the odds you take a bong rip? Except you allow me to fill it with, hold on, I'm going to come up with something, Matthew. I thought you were going to say anything, and I'm going to say, that's a little too vague for the rules. <laughs> with anything. It's just fucking gasoline. It just, <laughs> it ex- the glass explodes, and, and all, it's all in my face and my hands. Hmm. Wait, Freddie just yelled something out. Freddie. Freddie Dread the Rapper. What was it? Ketchup. Uh, I don't I know if you could liquidy. do a bong rip with ketchup. You can how, mix it with how water. How about this, Matt? Uh, oh, I thought of something truly awful, but I'm not going to say it. You're not? I'm no. going to do a uh, pickle juice. Okay, so. You got to do a bong rip with pickle that's juice acid. as the base. It's acetic acid. Your point. That's inha- I, I would be inhaling you acid. Saw, I saw that fucking Instagram video. I might have even liked it. I saw people fucking doing bong rips with, like, I saw people smoking Carolina Reapers out of a bong. That doesn't mean I want to do it. I saw a guy vape a Carolina Reaper. I don't want to smoke whatever the thing you Okay, well, dude, smoking tuna juice is is much less hazardous for your health. People eat pickles. They don't eat pickles. People drink pickle juice. Yes, because you can believe the lining of your esophagus and stomach is built to tolerate high levels of acidity, not your lungs. Your lungs are the most sensitive part of your body. Smoke shouldn't even be going in your lungs. Okay, so, all right. Okay, want me to come up with something else? I can come up with something else. We'll do that after. 
We'll Do take after. turns. We'll okay. do. We'll each do three. <laughs> three. Okay? okay. Okay. Out of fifty each time. Okay. Okay. Unless you really want to change it. 50. Pickle juice out of okay. fifty. Three, two, one. 14. Thirty-four. Woo. Okay. No. Nope. Each time we have to go down. Uh, ten. So the next one is forty. Oh my god. So what's what's the next one, Matt? Okay, Ryan. I got one for you. And if you succeed in doing more, that means you have to mix the liquids together and take a bong rip. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, what are the odds you take a bong rip with, uh... You know how sometimes when you go to squirt ketchup out, but just that water comes out? You know how... You know how, how do you even collect all of that? We're gonna have to buy a lot of ketchup and, and just And just fridge. water it down. Okay, so yeah, what are the odds? Water down the, the, ketchup. The, the first squirt of ketchup when it's just that water. You know, we put it in your hot dog, and you're like, ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah, so we just that. make watery ketchup. Y- y- essentially, yes. No, no, no. From the bottles, because that... It's out of 40. We already made up the right. rules. Right. Oh, that's right. Well, ju- not watered down ketchup. The actual shit from the bottle, because that's not just water in there. That's all the preservatives and shit. And I oil. don't know how many ketchup bottles. Like, that would take a lot. That's a bong word. I can not... do it. I can <clears throat> buy enough ketchup okay. bottles for Okay, okay. If this. you do that, then yes. Okay. 40. Three, two, one, 23. 15. All right, no ketchup bong rip okay, for Ryan. Okay, now Matthew, my piss. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're no. not gonna inhale my piss. No, I'll do it. No, that's fucking disgusting. It's disgusting. You're going to inhale it's my disgust- piss into your lungs. It's disgusting, can but that, it, can, it won't harm my health. Are you sure it won't harm yes, your health? It's, you can't. First of all, you can't drink sterile. over a cup no. of your piss without getting piss sick at sea. Yes, you can. Piss no. is sterile. They piss say is sterile. You, they. Matt. This, that's an old wives' tale, Ryan. Wives? About drinking piss. It's a wise tale. We've been through this. It's not an no, old wives' tale. No, it's wives' tale. It's a wise tale. Ryan, it's fucking wise. <laughs> it's not wise tale. It's an old wives' tale because wives would used to tell tales. They still tell tales. Oh, I'm out with my friends. Now you're getting fucked by some fucking sports coach. That's a an d- absurd superstition is an old wives' tale. Wives. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> According to sexist because tradition, because of that, you have a to story drop- popular among credulous old ladies. It's an old wise tale, or even worse, an old wives' tale. Because of that, you got to drop your last one down to twenty. Well, technically, man, I was also right because it does Nobody quote says old wise, wise tale. tale. People only say wives' tale. Nobody says. I think wise people say tale. wise tale. I don't it's think people say tale. wise tale. I've never. Heard, I've only ever heard in my whole life wives' tale. It says old wives' tale versus old wise tale. Grammarist. Enough people use it for them to make a grammar. Okay, one dumbass about can it. write an article on a website for some college assignment. Okay. Top ten old wives' tales. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and and and. I'll do piss. I, Forty. Really? It's not gonna hurt me. Okay. Three, two, one, six. three. Woo! Getting close. Th- three and six. That's was that that's, your last? That's your last one. No, we have one more. Oh each. yeah, you're right. Okay. So this is yours for thirty now. Okay. Or if we really wanted to up it, we could drop it, cut it in half, do it twenty. Fifteen. 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 Well, if you do 15, I have to do 15. Okay. This is the All last right, one. What's the last one, Matt? Ryan. Wh- oh, my God. Well, I got a top piss. I'm not. I'm ultimately getting the, the, the shortest straw because I up it for you, and then you up it finally for me. So out of 15, this is getting dangerous now. Okay. How about you dissolve a bunch of fiberglass in water? Oh, and perfect. Yeah, <laughs> just scar your lungs for the rest of your life. Um... Give me a second to think. Give me a second to think. I mean, this is a lot of power right now. You know? It is a lot of power. Because, like, I, this has to be good. Okay. I got it. Yes. Ryan? Yes. I am going to work out, right? Mm-hmm. My balls are going to get real sweaty. Okay. I will then soak my sweaty balls in a cup of Monster Energy drink, the okay. sugar-free one. Okay. For 20 minutes. Okay. That is what you have to do your bong rip with. Okay. So that's ball sweat. Yes. But not just ball sweat. 20 minutes, that's, that's enough time to really that's cleanse, perfect. cleanse Let's the do scrotum. It. Let's do it. Out of 15, right? Yep. Three, Three, two, two one, eight. one. <sighs> All right. Can I use a restroom break? Yeah. Okay, think, thank think you. Think about it while you're in the bathroom. I got to go, too. So think about it while you're in the bathroom. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with the grand finale of this uh, bong rip series. <laughs> okay, Matt. I thought of mine. All right, we're back from our bathroom break. I got myself a nice crisp LaCroix. And I, and I thought of the thing. Let's hear it. That's uh, just toilet water. Mm. Dude, that's disgusting. That's just vile. Okay. 
out of 15? <laughs> yeah. Three. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. Uh-huh. Whose toilet? Ain't like public toilet? No, like, not a public okay. toilet. How about so yours my toilet, but before I have to get the water out, I have to flush it five, no, three times. No, you don't have to set any stipulations. Okay. Dude. It's, it's whatever. My toilet. You're just your toilet water. Yeah. I'll, I'll go big. Okay. Oh, it's out of 15. Okay. Three, two, one, four. Nine. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay, so we don't have, so neither of us have to take gross bong hits. We can just take a regular one. I got one more. Okay. If you're willing. What is and it? Just, fact, tell me, just this, tell me what it this is. This one's so bad, I'll be willing to do it if we say this Ask number. me what are the odds for this one. What are the odds? We'll both do it, okay? Just tell me. Just ask me. Just What are the odds? Okay, I. The odds. I'm asking what are the odds that you basically, uh huh. I need you to mop your house, <laughs> ring out the mop. Okay. And that dirty, dark gray water. Yeah. That's the water you put in the bong. <sighs> two. You cannot pull a two. So at one this of one. us is doing. You cannot pull a two. <laughs> yeah, at I this can't one. pull a two, Matthew. All right. For those who don't know, two <sighs> works. If we both say the same number, Ryan. If, has to so do since it. you're the challenger, if we say the if, same number, if you say one, I say two, or you say two, I say one. You have to do. I it. have to do it. But so if we say the same number, it's I have it to, to do 50%. it. Setting it to fifty percent. One of us will be doing this. Dude, I... Okay, you know what? You want to do two? That's putting it at 50% for you, though. You yeah. could have set it to anything and gotten out of this scot-free, but now you're going to... I have a bad feeling you're, you're about this You're setting the odds yeah. to be 50% in your favor. I like how it's still my house, and I have to mob. Actually, can it be my house? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Because right. I got Lego prancing around. And... and uh, oh, dude, hair. I have a, a gag reflex thing with just the thought of animal hair. Uh huh. It, it. Okay. All right. You ready for this? All right. Three, two, one, done. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Buddy. Yes. Okay. Well, that'll have to happen at some point. That'll have to happen at some point. Oh. Fuck me, man. <laughs> so I gotta smoke dirty. I'm already ass gagging, mop. like thinking about like intake. Dude, I, I I am too. Oh, uh, uh, All this shit on your floor. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. No. Your little your little feetsies walking around <laughs> with all the oh, dude. Oh no. Fuck. Uh, oh my dude, I don't I I don't wanna do that, but I will. Okay. I actually feel physically ill just <laughs> thinking about it. I'm still getting a bit. I'm trying to like get over this gag. Like I feel like I'm because right I'm like now. I'm picturing myself going. <gasps> I'm gonna have. And to, then I start. Uh, oh, stop! 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 Woo! Stop! Stop! Okay, we'll save that one for a rainy day. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We'll make it a podcast segment. We'll bring it in and get the audio. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> no, we won't because then that'll. Why did I think we were taking the bathroom break and I was like, YouTube. Ryan, I just thought of the worst one. <clears throat> you were like, keep it to yourself, and I was like, no, just wait. I wish I had. I wish I kept it in myself now. Haha. <laughs> -ha. I wish I had just fucking not opened my <laughs> stupid mouth. I like how you're like, we'll both do it, and I'm in my head. I'm just like, oh yeah, we are. Oh, we're both doing it, but not not what you're thinking. You're thinking we're both we, we both probably have 10. You could have said it to 100, 10. dude. And then neither of us would have to smoke fucking dirty mop I don't have water. to smoke mop, uh, mop water. You do. You're the one regretting it. Absolutely. Can we have a Pure Flakes night? Because they're, the, Pure I, they're, the, they're the same ones who do God's Not Dead. You surely alive. They did a post-apocalyptic movie. I know. With I know. the preacher who the main character is the the same guy that plays the preacher. We watched from God the trailer Mountain. together. I think we watched it on the podcast. <laughs> we should. Yeah. We should. Watch. We should have a fucking pure flicks night, Ryan. Uh, what are the odds? Okay, that by the time you turn, by your next birthday, Ryan, you have to watch every pure flicks movie up to the current date. When? By your next birthday, when you turn uh, twenty six. That's a lot. That's way too many. How many is that? They don't don't they have many. they have their like own streaming service, don't they? Yeah, I mean, dude, we could have our own. Streaming I'm not seeing service. every pure flicks film. I will see like if you give me a, a a manageable number. Okay, if I make a list of ten pure flicks movies for you to watch, I will watch ten by your next birthday. By my next birthday. Now, did you finish your Rolling Stones magazine? <laughs> I haven't. It's still there. Ryan, I'll finish. That's it. no. The 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 agreement was before we went to Japan. That was back in like March. 
Ryan had lost a word of the odds. He has to read this entire, it's not the Rolling Stones magazine. It's a magazine special about the Rolling Stones. Very, it's like 70 pages about everything about the Rolling Stones. How much did you read? None of it. Um, you said you started it. I, I, were you lying when you said you were like I read the through? cover, Matt. I, I did not a start third it. through. I was going to start asking you some trivia about the Rolling Stones. No, of course not. But Matt. What? I just found the name, because I'm going back to the movie. I found the name of the, the, the character that I described as Asian earlier. His name is uh, Johnny Garcia. So... He could be Filipino. Definitely. Yes. Could be Filipino. Um, so, he, yeah, here's the poster. It's called To Save a Life. See, there's a there's white life. boy with blue eyes with a cross on his face. That looks creepy. And then down here, you can see Steven Crowder as a young boy. Hold on. Oh, yeah. You see him right right. I see him there? right there. He's on like, the left. Ooh. And then we got... Fuck. They keep switching. I kind of want to... Uh, and I'm speaking this I'm speaking this from a perspective of... Uh, a month before this is actually coming out, um, I I, I kind of want to grow my hair out so I can be. Uh, uh, you didn't scream, Matt. Oh fuck! He, I didn't. Why didn't you see? He has one it. more chance. I got one more chance to scream. I want to be uh, what's his name? Lucky from uh, King of the Hill. Who? Lucky? Who's the guy that where, uh, dates Luann? Oh, Bucky. It's no, not Bucky. no, it's Lucky. no. That's that's the Winter Soldier, Jackson. <laughs> You're right, Ryan. Oh, he has long hair, too. Yeah. Oh, I, I think Matt wants to dress up as the Winter Soldier this year for Halloween. I've been, I've been thinking Matt, about it a lot. what are the odds this year for Halloween you have to dress up as the Winter Soldier? Jackson, it's my one time of the year to, like, get creative and have a cool costume. You can costume. go to two parties. It's your only I'm time the same during for... the year to get creative is Halloween. <laughs> to get creative. It's not like you up. have, you know, a whole channel you can put your creative energy into. No, I'm talking about dressing up. That would be way too much effort. It's not like you can make sketches a whole year round. No, Jackson, what I'm, I'm talking about where I get to dress up and it's it's just for goofs and giggles and I don't want to waste it on dressing up as the Winter Soldier. Well, Matt, Is you can go map? to two parties too. You know, you could make a party specifically for the Winter Soldier costume. Okay, so I've I've missed a house or two. Okay, uh, the odds are I I the odds are. 20. Matt didn't scream. Wait, was that? I think that boy might have been hiding. Maybe not. No, see. Yeah, he's, he's just doing. chilling. Oh. I was I was prepping my vocal cords. Um, I'll do it out of fifteen. You can do Jackson. some vocal warm ups before this. <laughs> Out of 15. Okay. 3, 2, 1, 12. Two. Oh. Aww. I heard that T. I got nervous. So what house did I miss? Dude, I want some Dogecoin right now. What's the orange paint for? Was Who who, who needed orange paint? Jackson, yeah, it's part of a costume. Jackson, what are the oh. odds you convert every single last penny in your bank account to Dogecoin tonight? Uh, two. <sighs> Well, my bank account, does that include the Super Mega Bank account? No. How about instead we both... my name is on the bank account, isn't it? Then yes. It is, but I don't think that counts because it, it, mine is also on the bank account. Half but, of it. Half okay, of it. then we have to get... So, so you're half of the money then. Well, in business there is no my half. It's there like, is, actually, because we split the money. One of us doesn't keep all of it, Matt. No, but the, I mean, it's the business's money. My no, name's I just I on the I account. I think you're mincing so. words here. You're not, you, you're not taking half you're of my money. You're mincing meat here. Well, Ryan, you don't understand. When I convert half of our money into Dogecoin, it will drive the value of Dogecoin. As long as I get to keep half check of with the, our uh, money. Check with the guy back there. And you have to get Which costumes one? for a This costume. guy? Yeah, you have to have a third. Yeah, person. you get half of the Dogecoin, and I get half of the Dogecoin profit. I take half, I convert it to Dogecoin. You get half the Dogecoin, I get half the Dogecoin. It's a win win. Alright, Christmas bonuses this year. Everyone at Super Mega is getting Dogecoin bonuses. Okay. Can we buy Justin Dogecoin for his bonus this year? Well, he's gonna hear this, so you have to do Don. Okay, <laughs> we'll give. Can Don you just start paying Don for a thumbnail with like? We one actually, Dogecoin? we actually just did give Don a raise, so maybe. But we never specified. You never specified what it was. What the raise was in. We never said like what currency, so we could technically <coughs> just keep paying him the same, but then give him the difference in Dogecoin. <sighs> We do that as a joke, but it actually drives the value of Dogecoin up so high to like $22,000 per Dogecoin. Let's do it. You first. Well, I mean, we're not the ones I getting... like that. Okay. Then your your payment is now in Dogecoin, Jackson. Okay. Is that okay? As long as it's still the equivalent of how much I'm making in Dogecoin. I wonder if like we if we if we tried to 
use all of our influence to do a push if we could get Dogecoin booming again. Like what it would take to really bring Dogecoin back and to make it actually like really, really successful. Like do we have the opportunity to just funnel money into Dogecoin and then actually like make it... Because there was a point when it was actually pretty valuable, right? I don't know. Dude. You're the one that's obsessed with cryptocurrencies. No, that's Brent. No, he's the one interested in shamanism. So he can get more cryptocurrencies. I've never owned any cryptocurrency. Then maybe you should try, though. Can we come up with our own currency? I've thought about it. Uh, Matt and Ryan. <coughs> no, you have your own. Jackson has his own, and I have my own. Well, Jackson has to go to the Where's bathroom. Where's he going? Sorry, I gotta go pee pee. Oh, wow. like, I got a cough a lot, so oh, I'm step out of the room. Oh, he has to go. Oh, he has oh. to take a coughing break. Look at this. Oh, there's a kid. You got a kid. Found found half of the kids. Three, six kids. Okay, so obviously I'm I'm done over here, I guess. You gonna heal yourself, you asshole? Little bitch. fucker. Right in the pussy. He's gonna die now. Ryan. What are the odds right now you have to send your mom the gif of the guy saying fucker right in the pussy? Uh, 20. 3, 2, 1, 14. 16. All right, you're off the hook. Did you say fort? I said 14. He's okay. A, uh, yeah. I said Fortnite. Wham, baby. Let's see it. Ooh. 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 Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Ryan. Oh, here we go. This I, is it. I think we might have just done did something here. Ooh, look at that. And, oh, uh, do that basic attack on that. Bitch. Let's get it, dude. Sorry. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna come out of my penis. She's oh, charging, no, she's it up, charging again. up again. She's uh, charging her lasers. <laughs> nice, dude. Shoop to whoop. I'm gonna go with shoop to whoop for Halloween this year. Ooh, you should. What are the odds, Jackson? I'll help you make uh, the costume. Two. Two. Yeah, buddy. One of us going to shoot the wood right. this year. All right. Three, two, two one, one, one. All right. Looks like you're going to shoot the wood, buddy. I'm going to shoot the Hell yeah! I'll help you out with the costume. <laughs> Wait, are you? Do you have to do the face paint part? Yeah. I'll, I'll help you with the costume. Guys. Yo. There's got to be phase two. Oh no. And we got a new card that doesn't do anything because it's the final boss. Open the door. Jackson. Jackson. Jackson! Come here. We need your expertise. What is what is what, what, what is what's gluten? gluten? Is it is it type of sugar or what is it? No, it's uh Because I, I I for some reason I was like, oh no, I'm thinking sorry, I am thinking of glucose. Oh, they just yeah. they just they just glue. Sorry. No, glue Glutin is, just, is I don't know uh precisely the scientific it, it thing. It could kill you and you don't know what it is. It's essentially what binds together um, a lot of the things in flour when you're baking bread. So, you know, gluten is naturally occurring in a lot of grains and things like that, particularly wheat. And that's why, you know, it's harder to make gluten-free things when you bake them because it's what keeps it all together. It mm -hmm. acts as a glue almost. Which uh, I Is that why the bread I had today was, like, more crumbly? Yeah, it's crumbly and it falls apart. And it, like, it almost is kind of stale. Yeah. Which is what you get from it, which it kind of sucks. So, like... You so is it like a living hell? Because you're like I fucking well, yeah. Well, sometimes you che you cheat and you're like yeah, of fuck course. Because I'm not like a celiac like some people are. Where like if I eat it, I'll die. Mm -hmm. Or some people like it literally like eats through their intestines, kind of. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. What happens if you eat gluten? You just get bad shits. Um. Yeah. It kind of varies. I get some really bad rashes sometimes on my skin or on my face. My lips will swell up. Is there a medication you can take before yes, eating? Yes, I, I actually found one in the last year. They have some pills that they definitely help, and it uh. You know, typically when I eat gluten, my poo poos get very runny, wet, yeah. and smelly. This way, they're not as smelly and they're more solid. I can, okay. I can, it's kind uh, of like a lactate. I can testify yeah. on that one. Yeah. But thank you very much. Of course. For some I reason, I thought it was connected to sugars. Well, and it's, I don't know. Because I'm stupid and I, I link the, things that sound similar together. The gluten allergy just like came up when I was like in high school. Because like before that, I was like, ooh, cakes, pizza, pastries. And I was like, at my birthday party where I got like a shit ton of pizza and like, my lips are just like <laughs> massive on my face. <laughs> I, I'm just like a little kid that like his, you know, 
10th grade birthday party and have like these massive red lips. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds horrible. Do, do you have any pictures of that day when you had big old lips? Probably somewhere. I'm sure I can find them. Big old red lips. Mm -hmm. See, you don't even have to do the Kylie Jenner challenge. You just got to eat some pizza <laughs> or something. Oh, yeah. I, I've never seen your lips swollen. I want to see this now. Oof, can we see good. how bad it can get? There's Let's a, there's a loaf it. of bread. <laughs> Let's eat all the bread. Do it. Eat all the bread. What well, sucks? I miss bread so much. Like you'll have it every now and then, cheese. right? Jackson, what are the odds you have to go eat a slice of bread right now? Matt, that's gonna hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So what are the odds? No, it's not just an inconvenience. It, it medically, yeah. physically, it, it's like it, it it affects them. Jackson, if you don't eat this piece of bread, we're taking away your health insurance. Okay. <laughs> I haven't gotten sick yet anyway. I, th I think I'm good. I don't need that stuff. Ryan, what are the odds you eat a piece of bread? I don't want to. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's a good one. Though. I know. You should save that one. Well, what was the one Jackson bet you last night? It was, what are the odds you have to sleep with all your lights on tonight? <laughs> yeah. <it's laughs> yeah. Like the most obnoxiously inconvenient. It's just and inconvenient. My, and mine was uh, to him because that one was a backfire to mine because I said, what are the odds oh, are yeah. you have to sleep with Wubba lubba dub dub dubstep playing. Yeah. Ooh. Like constantly. I wasn't on that loop. opposed to that because I was like, it's well, loud. I can uh, put it, <laughs> me and Matt's rooms are next door. To so as so long as like, you know it's bothering this, Matt, can you can room, sleep the easy. Just, the speaker just point toward him. So it's like, <laughs> I'll just hear it through the wall. Like, <laughs> and I would, that would be horrible. <laughs> it would just be like coming through the wall real, real annoyingly. Dude, gasoline might be the hardest smell to get off of shit one time i was uh, at a campfire a campfire is pretty hard too but gasoline my mom was furious at me because when i was in high school uh i was mowing the front lawn and i i went to you know i, I needed gas for the lawnmower so i drove down in my mom's car to the gas station with like the red gasoline tank thing yeah and i was filling it up and when i pulled it out i accidentally clicked the pump again and it just sprayed gasoline straight into my mom's driver's seat. Oh my god! And all over my pants, my shoes, and my shirt, and my hands. Like I sprayed because when, like, when, when you when you she wasn't with me, but I was just like fuck. It was all over the seat, all over the floor, all over did my you shoes. Tell her, or did you try to get away with it? No, I told her I had to throw my shoes away when I got home. Like I could not get the smell out. She's like Matthew, and and I got in that car, and all I could smell was gasoline. I was like, oh no. You're like, there's no way I'm hiding this. Still to this day, she still. She still has the same car. Uh, when, 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 like you're slowly you get killing in, your mother. You can still smell the gasoline. What if you're slowly poisoning your mother, like in her lungs, like these gasoline particles? Oh, maybe she should get a new car. Maybe she should. Maybe she should maybe stop her, being. Maybe her so rich poor. son should buy her a new one. Or maybe she should stop being so poor, dude. You should look. You've already bought two for the Tucker brothers. Why not a third Mercedes Benz for your mother? Well, the well, here's the thing. The third Tucker brother moved out. I'm trying to get him two cars. Once he has two well, that's cars. That's not fair because Jackson and Harrison only get one. Why does he get two? No, they don't. They each have two. They each have two? I, told I thought you, you said you bought two cars. One no, for... I bought two for the Tucker brothers, as in I bought two cars for each one of the Tucker brothers. Oh, okay. G Wagons, to be specific. Okay. Uh, and my mom, you know. After buying cars on his two cars, I don't, I don't know what my bank account would look like. So it might be a little tricky, but yeah, the best you maybe throw in some, some, some change for like carpet, like to recarpet the car. She's fine. <laughs> that bitch is good. She likes the smell of gasoline too. It ain't bad. And I miss your voice. God, she hasn't texted or called me in some time. Ryan, what are the odds right now? You have to call my dad and then just say the word vagina and then see what he says back. <laughs> Can I call him from your phone? Yeah. <laughs> what are the odds? I'll just do it. Oh, okay. But you're going to hold the phone. And, and I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say anything after that. That's you, the rule. Can, I only say vagina. And then well, how are you going to say it though? I'm just like, going to go vagina. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my dad said can't talk. Text me. Well, I'm not gonna text him vagina. Send him an audio clip of me saying. It. He doesn't have an and iPhone. He... You can't send audio oh, clips. Shit. Can you send him an audio recording? <laughs> vagina. 
<laughs> he opens it in front of people. He's like, I, I don't know where that. He's, he's in like men's small group for church. <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> oh, we're children. Oh, you should then show Super, Super Mega, Mega might then. be perfect, honestly, then. Yeah, honestly, you should, you should show it to about it. I think, uh, I just realized I could probably show my grandparents because they're not connected. I could show them like, like a, re- like a really good movie. Like, I thought uh, about a really good episode of Super Mega Plays Animal Crossing. They would go crazy for it. No, <laughs> you could, like, imagine, I could probably show my grandparents a Wes Anderson movie and be like, yeah, I made this. Ooh. And they just, they just they would believe it. You could you could cut it up to where the credits do say Matt Watson. Like in the very beginning, just directed by Matt and Watson. And in their head, because of the life that they've lived beforehand. Without they don't the know, exposure yeah, to they, everything. They wouldn't think that you would have gone and edited the movie at all. No, I don't think You can put course. yourself in a movie. Like, it's like Brad Pitt talks to someone off camera, and you're like, okay, Brad. Thanks, Brad. And then it's like. That, that's me. That's me. See? It's like, whoa. I, I should do this. I should gaslight my sweet old grandparents. Well, make them believe that you did something with your life before they die. Because right now it's not looking too hot for both of us. <laughs> yeah, well, so what, did, what do our obituaries say? It's going to say Let's Play. Not much. <laughs> Is it going to say Let's Play? Ryan, Ryan Elias McGee. You used to be known for what? making... <laughs> do will our obituaries say that? Plays? Will it be like in, in his prime was known for, for making YouTube videos? I just have to make sure I outlive my mother so she can't write my obituary. <laughs> oh my Ryan, if you die young, I promise I will not let your mom write your obituary. <laughs> Thank you. I will write it for you, okay? Thank you. I will write it with uh grace and I, I will make it very sweet and professional. My sweet little Rai Rai. It'd be like my my sweet baby Rai Rai, mommy's little boy. Used to work for Markiplier. <laughs> <laughs> and Game Grumps. <laughs> She puts a fucking like she puts a URL in the obituary. in the obituary, which is like, but but she does the thing where she, she copies it from the Google homepage, <laughs> yeah. so it's like the go- long Google URL plus the search result <laughs> URL, so it's like three paragraphs of just like <laughs> hyperlinked text that's just on printed on newsprint. Oh man, I feel like uh, I don't know that 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 just made me sad now because I was like, how do I continue the conversation? Like, well, if I write my mom's, uh, more than likely I'm going to be the one that writes off. I guess three of my parents' obituaries. What are the odds you let me write your mom's obituary when she passes? Fifteen. Three, two, one. Fourteen. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn, dude. I was excited for that. I would that. have had to uphold it. You would. Like, your dad is, like, in tears working on the obituary, and you're like, Dad, what are you doing? Why would my dad write the obituary for my mom? Ah, oh, that's a good point. <laughs> All right. Jim They've is been writing. divorced for, like, 20 years. Okay, so... <laughs> Her husband like is writing. Four years. J- Jim is writing the obituary, and you're like, Jim, what are you doing? That's Matt's job. <laughs> Who? <laughs> that homo you did the YouTube videos with? Ah, oh, Cecile was a wonderful white that I spent most. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was a uh, pretty good for a woman, even though she was part Palestinian. I was able to look past that part of her complexion and see the beautiful white in which she became. Oh, she was, you know, she gave me some lip, <laughs> as every female does, but, uh, you know, uh, she was a, she was a good wife. She She's was a, a good good-un. piece of property. I like that. She's a good'un. <laughs> She's a good'un. Because <laughs> it's spooky mega cast. Ooh. We haven't mentioned the most scary thing of all. The debt collector! No, he is... He's, he's hounding me right now. But oh, okay. You're gay. See, I just called the debt collector gay. What's he going to do? Um, uh, Matthew, I was listening to your podcast to learn information about, you know, just you and how responsible you are uh, in paying back your debt so I can go about this case. You know, I take my cases seriously. When I, when I heard that you called me gay. <laughs> you know, I was actually going to go easy on you. I like your podcast so much, but then... uh. You called me a homosexual, and I got to tell you, that didn't sit right with me. It embarrassed me. Uh, and my husband. Yep. And uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to pursue you much harder. We now. haven't come out yet. So that was very rude of you. Been so to, thanks for that. Yeah, thanks. Kind of stole the moment. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm surprised we haven't mentioned this yet. I think because it's just we're used to it by now. We got some big ass news. Some big. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um. See, we're that used to it by now. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, my hair, okay, yeah. 
Our hair's gone. We're bald now. Yeah. Both of us are bald. Except mine's, since I have such Yours thick hair. Yours is like back already, dude. <laughs> since, I, I guess my hair is just full. It's just you very have very thick. thick hair. There's a lot of it. You got so. that Middle Eastern, like, thick, dark hair. I got that, that goofy white man, <laughs> thin ass hair. Uh, and basically, I haven't seen you in, what, five days, maybe? So last time I saw you, yeah. you, were, you were straight bald. And now you're no way it was that long. Has it been four or five long? days. Okay, four. Or five and days. now you are. Uh, it's like it's back. It's if I squint, it, it's just black. Yeah. Well, Me uh, on the other hand, it's it's. Well, there's a story to tell. It was at a live show. Yes. And I'm sure some of y'all, in fact, most of y'all listening, I would, I would, I would imagine have probably already seen either video or picture of the event. Yes. But it happened at our first uh, show in the Texas tour, the um, Houston baby. Houston show. Where at the end during the Q and A, a very a very nice lass uh, wanted to do an odds are uh, with me and Matt, and uh, I was the one that was kind of representing the two of us. Her odds are was what are the odds are you drink the rest or you ch you two chug the rest of that wine? And there was like half a bottle left, yeah. so it would have it, it not too bad. I I think I did did I do five or I think you did five. No, I did three. You did three, right? And we didn't say the same number. And it was like, ah, but she got to play odds are uh, with uh, us, so I guess that was that was good with her fucking heroes. I know that's great. We're just her golden, her golden heroes, her golden girls. One with with the mane of a thousand Greeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then the other with the. With the must be nice. <laughs> I could see that look in your eyes. I was waiting for it. With the hair of the Arizona desert. Thank you. A tumbleweed. <laughs> a tumbleweed. First atop top of my head. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so Matt, I guess, kind of f feeling the moment, uh, took it upon himself to then give me the odds are that I would shave all. You didn't say you shave your head. You said you shave. All what are the odds are you shave all of your hair off? And I was like, fuck. So I thought about it. We're at our first live show. I want to give these people a good show. So I'm like five. Because think about it. That sounds like a low number, but there's still an 80%. The 80% still on my side. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's only a 20% chance you'll have to shave your hair. I know. And that's a very small percent. Right. But it's, it's risky. It's still very risky. And I thought it would be good for the show. Even if I lost, it proves that like, hey, I went for it. You did. Um, as it turned out, uh, we both said the number two. We did. Um, and right then and there, uh, you and Jackson and even the audience, uh, the, you reacted at first, and then there was 50%, I would say, of the audience were screaming, no, don't do it, and yeah. shaking their heads. Once the laughter subsided, they were like, stop, stop. But you saw me. I was I, right away, like you could see it in my eyes. It's kind of like uh, when you – it's when – a criminal is given uh, a life sentence verdict <laughs> for murder. You can see it's it in that, their that eyes shift, where it's like, oh, the... my, my life is over. Yeah, that, that, that dramatic shift in their facial expression. Um, so I was very just, I was like, okay, let's just get trash bags. I put a chair up there. I was just kind of yeah, going through the Yeah, the second the I saw you grab, because you, you didn't like afterwards, you weren't like, yeah, let's do it. You just kind of looked at me and then you grabbed a chair and slammed it down. I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh no. And I, I came up to you and I, I, I whispered, I was like, Ryan, I'm giving you an out. You don't, you like, there's no. You don't have to do this, okay? <laughs> but I know it was funny. Could you that, imagine if I backed out? I already backed out of a, of uh, Justin's first. You'd be labeled a pussy. Here's the thing. If you had gotten Justin's tattoo, you probably could have gotten away with not shaving your head at that show. That is true. You can be like, look, I already got a tattoo. I've, yeah. I, I, I've proven I can commit. You did it, though. You did the ultimate, what are the odds, committal. At first, you tried to. To saw it off with a pocket knife, which Harrison hurt a handed lot. me a pocket knife and said, "Cut his bun, or his is not which, his bun." Your I which tried once, once. You did that. I think uh, eliminated it from being able to be donated to Locks of Love. Yeah, it was kind of <laughs> choppy. I could not get that. That wasn't a very sharp but knife. But luckily, someone at the venue had an electric razor. You shaved my head off. I shaved then, your whole head off. Yeah, <laughs> you shaved you shaved my hair off. You shaved my head. Doom, you, doom, yeah. doom, doom. <laughs> you shaved all of my hair off. My my fucking your beautiful mane. Yep. And uh, you being the fantastic and good-natured friend uh, that you are, you took it upon yourself to make the same sacrifice 
um, and you got your head shaven as well. And so for the rest of the tour um, and for the rest of the time our hair is growing, uh, we're both bald. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't watch South Park that much, but, but you had a you had a, a, a quite a spin on Family well, Guy. See, Family Guy was just such a short period of time that, yeah, I watched a lot, but it all just kind of blurred together. Where South Park, I've seen so much of it throughout my life that, that of course, those moments will stick. You know, here's the thing, Ryan. If if I'm a sixth grader and I watch a South Park episode where Cartman blows poo poo all over his mom, that's going to stick because I'm in sixth grade. But if I'm if I'm a 22 year old watching seven episodes of Family Guy a day, you know, that stuff's not going to stick the same because I'm desensitized to it. But if you're if you're fresh, if you are in sixth grade and you're just looking for any kind of edgy, funny comedy and then you see Cartman go, you're going to that's really going to stick with you. Just like when six sixth graders watch Super Mega. They laugh so hard because it's edgy and funny. I'm trying not to shit myself right now. Really? Do you have to shit? Ooh, I don't want to sit on warm. that side of the couch. That was warm. Dude, dude I, I feel like that, that like went into the couch and that's like, it's get up, get up and smell the couch. <laughs> okay, here we go. Woo. You want a sniff? No, I don't. Come on. Odds are you take a sniff. 10 3 2 1 4 God damn it Come on take a sniff fucking <laughs> hell right there <laughs> Dude that's fucking <laughs> rancid Yeah <laughs> Dude <laughs> can you get some can you buy some of that fabric Febreze please I don't that's disgusting I love poopery That's not going to work on the fucking couch though Yeah Dude I feel like I taste that man <laughs> <laughs> You lost it odds are dude now you sniff. You, what was inside of me? What's so putrid? I you don't have to break it down in, into the scientifics of it. I know, Ryan. Last time we lost to the odds are we ended up with bald heads. I just gotta stop playing this game, dude. It's just not ending well. For me. <laughs> I know. We both had. We're both bald now. <laughs> well, your hair's coming back real fast. Yeah, mine's starting to look goofy. I need to get it trimmed soon because the sides are getting long right here. So are mine. Yeah, my, my mine does this like streak thing where the sides just like streak down. 